morning. I am really excited today because I pretty much cleared out my Tuesday so that I can do this, but I've always wanted to learn how to punch needle and make those cute little like rug looking wall hangings but i feel like i was always intimidated by it because i feel like i always start hobbies and i never finish it i always buy the materials and i never use them so i actually cleared out today all of today to just do punch needling and to figure out punch needling because i feel like it's super intense and sometimes very scary to learn something new especially um something that's like not related to paint or like digital painting something that's like a different medium it's kind of like when i baked that cake for my 50k i already have a few of the tools i have like two different punch needle needle thingies um one of them is adjustable so i can i guess do different like lengths of the tufting loops i don't know what i'm talking about anyways and i have a wooden one i have a piece of the monk cloth and some needle threaders but I do need to run to Michael's and get a lot of like yarns and I need to get some of the fabric glue. I need to get, what else? I need to get felt and I think that's it. But yeah, I need to do that right now. Um, it's about 9 right now, so I have a lot of time in my day, but yeah come figure out how to punch needle with me so I don't feel alone. I'm making this as my like 100k post on Instagram because I kind of want to keep the trend going with me using like a different type of medium for each milestone. Like for example, I made this cake for 50k on YouTube. So for Instagram, I want to make the same apple except I want to use I want to use punch needling. So let, let's go. Let's go. Let's get going. I'm gonna bring my little vlogging camera with me and yes, let us, let us go. Hello, Ramona. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. Stand on the opposite shore Hello, Ramona I reach through mysterious ceilings My only hope I look for the things I don't know Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know I am back and I want to show you what I got. Um, I went to Michael's and I got some colors. So these are the main colors I'm going to be using. I have, I have these. So I'm making an apple but I'm also thinking that this could eventually be a strawberry. I would probably have to get peach or something or I don't know, we'll think about it. But I also already have pink, so I can do pink cheeks. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of yarn, so I'm thinking I can make a lot of these little carpet wall hangings. I also got these hoops, and I got two different sizes because I wasn't sure which one I wanted. And I didn't want to go to Michael's again, so I just bought both of them. But these are just the uh, embroidery hoops, and I feel like I should have done more research before I went shopping for these things, but I'm gonna just hope this works. I've seen some people use like a like a box frame or like a, a wooden frame and they just kind of nail it to the back but 
that's too much work for me. So I just bought this one and it was like a dollar or something. It wasn't too expensive. I also got some fabric Mod Podge. I'm not sure if this is like the right type of glue you use for this, but I'm assuming whatever glue works and wall hangings you usually don't wash in like the washing machine because it's not really like a floor carpet type of thing. So we're technically gluing fabric, so it should be fine. And lastly, I got some felt. I got two different sizes. The small one is for the small hoop and the big one is for the big hoop. I got very neutral color because I didn't know what color I liked. They didn't have a lot of really pretty colors. It was all really like cheesy, like bright yellow, bright red, bright green colors. So I just got this and I hope it's okay. I mean, it's on the back, so no one's really gonna care. But um, I only got two because I'm gonna see how today goes before I decide if I wanna continue doing this. Let's figure out how to start because I have no idea. Okay, from the crash course that I just gave myself on punch needling, I think I'll be fine. But you know what, I'm gonna just do it anyways and stop preparing because I kind of like figuring things out on my own, if you know what I mean. But I'm gonna start with the smaller one because I want instant gratification and I want to finish it today. And I don't want to have to work on it for like multiple days in a row. You know what would be really sad is if I put this monk cloth on and it's not even the right cloth. Oh, do I want to do the big one? Because this is a big sheet. Should I... Should I just go for the big one? Frick it. I'm gonna go for the big one. Okay, this is exciting. Alright, so I believe... Oh, okay, I believe you're supposed to take the small hoop. I've never done embroidery either, so I'm not even sure if this is right. But you're supposed to, like... Do this. Like, wrap it around like that, I think. And then you take the bigger hoop and somehow line it up around the edge. Okay, like this. And then I'm gonna try to pull the fabric on the edge and tighten it. I'm gonna just tighten the screw on top with all my finger powers. I have this now. This is what we're working with. And then I need to draw on this with a Sharpie or something. So let me get a Sharpie. Okay, I'm gonna just freehand this with a Sharpie. Um, and hopefully it'll turn out okay. I'm so scared. Okay, so if I just, I do light strokes in case I mess it up. This look okay? Wait, I'm supposed to make it... Oh, I'm supposed to invert the image. Okay, so if I want the leaf on the right side, I need to draw it on the left side. You know, there's also another way you can do this. You can like draw it really small, scan it, and then you can print it out and trace it onto the fabric. But I'm just too lazy to do that, so I'm gonna just... I just drew a leaf on the other side.
I'm guessing it goes through this hole. Oh. And then down into here like that. And then and then somehow through this tiny hole right here. I think I need the threader for this. I'm so confused. And then do I just stick it in? I'm gonna do the first punch. Moment of truth. I think you're supposed to pull the end through on the other side. And then take it out. And then punch again. Tiny. Do you see that? Am I doing something wrong? Oh, I'm doing something! Oh! Is it working? Wait, why are the loops just getting bigger and bigger? I don't understand. I don't like it. I heard that you can just like, if you don't like it, you can just... Do that. Whoa! So cool. Okay, let's try that again. Why is this so uneven? And why are the gardeners here? Okay, I'm gonna YouTube this more. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Please ignore the gardener going off right now, but I learned that you're supposed to have some slack on the yarn when you're doing it, or else it's gonna just pull out, which is essentially what just happened to me. Like I was doing a few stitches and they all pulled out because I didn't have enough slack. So you wanna just unravel your yarn enough. And then every time you notice that that's happening, you have to unravel more. This is what I've done so far. It's like really bad on the back side. The loops aren't really that even, but I'm assuming I can cover that up with glue and it'll be fine. But this side, it's very plush and it looks really cute. So I'm hoping that it'll look okay once I'm done. But now I kind of want to try the other tool because I want to try like different lengths of thread coming through. I'm assuming the longer the needle, the bigger the loops. So I'm going to do a pretty short one for the outline. I'm going to do a navy blue outline along it and yeah, I'm using the setting D, so like the most bottom one. I think I need a longer, I think it needs to be at least a C. I'm starting to think that this has to be pulled like really taut for this to work well because right now I'm, I'm having like a hard time making this work just because it's not super tight. I mean it works but it's like not ideal. Oh, I don't like it. I'm redoing this. It's been an hour or so or more. 
um, my hand is cramping and this is the progress so far on my apple. I just need to fill in the red and then I just need to finish the back and I'll be done. I'm actually really happy about this color for the leaf I chose because this is like one of my favorite colors to use for trees and leaves and in general all things green. I tend to favor more bluish greens than actual green. Let me finish this. Oh, it's the final stretch. You got this. Georgia. And you're Virginia. My brother's Austin. My mom named us after the places we were born. Poetic. Stalking the neighbor? What? No. Max invited me. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I am finally done. That took so long. It's like 3.51 now and I think I started punching at like 12.30, 1ish. So it's been a good like couple of hours and I'm finally done. So I just need to go in and finish the back with glue. And I think the way you do that is just literally take the glue and like smother it all over. Take the ring off. And then, I'm gonna glue it. After you cut along the mesh um, about like an inch I think you have to cut like these little slits around the perimeter and then glue it down like fold it over and glue it down I'm gonna do that carefully and try not to cut anything by accident
Hello, it's many hours later and I'm finally done with the little carpet piece. I'm semi-pleased with the outcome. I'm... I feel like I still need to kind of understand the different depths that each type of, I guess, punch needle can do because this kind of feels like the eyes are like drowning and I have to sometimes like shift it around so that it's like a round eyeball instead of like a crushed eyeball and like the black line here is kind of invisible but I think this is a good first try I'm kind of excited to make more except I didn't think it would take me that long like finishing the back and sewing along the edge was taking me way too long but I definitely love the colors that I chose and yeah I think it turned out pretty cute so this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching and for coming along my adventure of figuring out a new medium to make art with. I want to thank our sponsor for this video, which is Skillshare. And of course, by now you have to know who Skillshare is, right? Because I mean, Skillshare and me, we're like buddies now. We're like best friends. But just in case you're new, because we always welcome new people, Skillshare is an online learning community where you can learn thousands of classes that range from illustration, graphic design. There's also some punch needle videos that I actually watched a little bit of to get a little bit of, you know, education to make this happen. Some of the classes that I recommend to further your craft is from Paper Cutouts to Digital Collage, Finding Inspiration in Shapes and Colors by D. I really love paper cutout artworks just because you're able to freely kind of create without the pressure of making it perfect. And the second class I recommend is How to Make a Punch Needle Cushion. And this is a class by Andy. And this is one of the classes I referenced for my own punch needle project. And if you click my link in the description, the first thousand people will get a premium version of Skillshare to test out. And after that, after the trial's over, it's only less than $10 a month. And you can have a lot of fun learning different things like, like this fluffy guy right here. Please check him out and thank you again for sponsoring this video, Skillshare. I'll catch y'all next week in next week's video. Bye. Let me know if I did a good job. If I didn't, you can tell me that too. But, you know, let me let me know what you think about my apple friend. Bye. Hello.